Well, the, when we first opened up with the menu, we basically went to the classics that were that would be found in San Francisco. So the Pisco Punch, um, the julep that you would find in San Francisco at the time would be brandy base mm -hmm. because that's what was coming in through South America. They would stop, the sailors would stop, South America re because there's no Panama Canal, they would refuel, they would pick up this unaged brandy because they would drink all their brandy and whiskey and gin already. So they'd pick up more, they would stop off in San Diego, they would come up to San Francisco. And so they would uh, bring this brandy with them. And we also had all the missionaries would have brandy styles also. And so there was a lot of uh, grape-based spirits. Mm -hmm. um, Pisco actually for a very long time was the most expensive uh, spirit in San Francisco, most sought after. Um, and we're getting back to that. We have now, I think, 10 different Piscos behind the bar. So nice. people are getting more into it where I couldn't sell uh, Pisco to anybody five years ago. People were actually coming in and asking, knowing the differences between the styles. So that's really exciting. The, the guests and the clientele are much more enthusiastic and more willing to try things. And so when you, we make drinks, we take what the classic is and then we kind of tweak it for still to people's flavor profile. Mm -hmm. 